Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, September 15th. I'm Jim Weatherup, Chairman of the Oswego County Legislature. Joining me again today is Diane Oldenburg, Senior Public Health Educator for the Oswego County Health Department. Over the past several days, we saw a rapid increase in the number of SUNY Oswego students testing positive for COVID. In a three-day period, there were 62 new cases in the county, and most of them were associated with SUNY. Understandably, there has been a lot of concern around the county, not just in the city of Oswego and around the campus. Under New York State Public Health Law, the Oswego County Health Department is the sole local public health authority regarding the COVID-19 pandemic response in Oswego County. Our public health director, Jen Chang Wong, is an epidemiologist with many years of experience in public health response investigating the spread of communicable diseases. The health department's public health nurses have responded and investigated the spread of communicable diseases in the county for decades. I want to share with you the recent steps being taken to address the outbreak at the college. Our public health team works seven days a week on COVID response investigations. Over the weekend, our health department received test results showing more than 40 new positive cases associated with the campus. Our team immediately began contacting the students to find out where they lived, where they had been during the period when they could have been infectious, and who they had been with. From there, our public health team reached out to notify others who may have been potentially exposed. These investigations go back two days prior to symptom onset for symptomatic positive patients or two days before testing for asymptomatic positive patients until the time a positive patient is isolated. Arrangements were made for students who tested positive to be placed in isolation. Students who were waiting for their test results to come back were quarantined. These are all very important steps in containing the spread of the virus. The health department issues official orders of isolation and quarantine under public health law. There are now more than 370 people in mandatory quarantine or isolation. This number changes every day as test results come in and infected patients recover. Our health department works very closely with the college to identify affected students and make sure they have food and other essential supplies. If a student lives on campus, it is the college's responsibility to feed and house the student. If they live off campus, the health department checks to make sure they're able to be isolated or quarantined properly and have food and other supplies. If not, the county provides rooms for isolation and quarantine. Nurses check on people in isolation daily and New York State contact tracers contact those in quarantine each day to monitor their health. The health department follows these New York State Department of Health guidelines for all positive cases and will continue to do so. I can assure you that the staff is diligent, professional, and very dedicated to protecting the health and safety of the public. As we've stated before, if a person who tests positive for COVID had public exposure when they were contagious and the health department couldn't reach those at risk individually, the county notifies the public through a news release. We've done this several times recently and we will continue to do so. President Deborah Stanley has also announced several actions taken to stem the spread of COVID-19 both on and off campus. These include suspended athletic and Greek-like activities, suspension of in-person dining at dining halls, no visitors allowed in residence halls, and other measures. Individuals who violate the County Health Department's quarantine and isolation orders will be suspended immediately. On behalf of Oswego County, I commend President Stanley and thank her for taking these strong extra measures to help contain the spread of the virus. And now Diane will report on the latest COVID testing results. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As the chairman mentioned, our county health department continues to work closely with the college, businesses, industries, and community members, as well as the State Department of Health to monitor and contain the disease. We are also working closely with area school districts to monitor COVID response activities for students and educators in grades K through 12. We are assessing any possible public exposures to inform the public as quickly as we can. It's vitally important that people limit across the county their interactions with family and friends 
wear face coverings, and practice social distancing. As of this date, we have had a total of 42,524 tests performed. We've had 489 positive cases. We have 140 active cases. We have 345 uh, residents that have recovered or been released from isolation. We have four deaths related to COVID-19. We've received 41,878 negative test results, and we currently have 414 people in mandatory isolation or, and quarantine. Thank you, Diane. The support of our residents, visitors, and businesses is vital as we work through this period. Thank you as always for your cooperation. You are making a difference.